to Boo Dudes! Hey, it's just me, Ryan, here with an, another Goosebumps book review for you all. Uh, sorry I haven't done one in a while, but the reason I haven't done one is because look, does anything look different here in, in the room? Look, look! New floors and paint. My mom wanted to paint the ha the house and get new floors, so I helped out and I um, painted the room blue for her. And then I came back and decided to do the Goosebump book review for the new one. And then all these men were he here, and they um. They were putting in the new floors, and so I didn't know what they were saying because they spoke another language, and so I went up to one and I said, hey, do you like the goosebumps? And he said something, um, something cal cabeza, and so I thought they like wanted lunch because they were probably hungry, so I said, I went to the store for them to get them cabezas, but they didn't even have any there. But I found kielbasa, so I cooked a kiel, um, kielbasa for them, and I don't. They didn't even eat any of it. So, um, so I have a goosebump book review today, and this one is for. Are you ready, guys? Calling all creeps. See them right there? They're creepy. That that one's the creepiest right there. Because you don't know who it is ever in the book. And this is a Goosebumps book. And it's written by... it was This one was written by R.L. Stein, And it's number 50 in the, in the series. And I think it's from 1995. And it was really creepy. This this one's the creepiest one I think I've read in a while. Um, and there was even Goosebump trading cards inside here. Which were awesome. And I put them on my wall. In my, in my room. I'll read the back for you, okay? Alright, here it is. Reach out and scare someone. Like, boo to the... Say boo. Um, Ricky Beamer is furious when he gets kicked off of the school paper. Uh, so, so he decides to play a joke on Tasha, the bossy editor-in-chief. Just a little joke. Harmless, really. After school one day, he sticks a message in the paper. If you're a creep, call Tasha after midnight, it reads. But somehow Ricky's message got messed up, and now he's getting all sorts of calls. Strange calls from kids who say they are creeps. With scaly purple skin and long sharp fangs. Now, this one is really creepy because all of that stuff really happens in the book. See? They call him up every night. And so... Basically, Ricky Beamer is like, he doesn't, he gets up, he's on the school paper, and he fights with his boss, Tasha, all the time, and they, she, something happens, and they get mad, and so he wants to get revenge on her, and so he sneaks into to her, um, he sneaks into school at night through the window, and he goes inside, and, um, he on the tight on the computer he writes to that to them and then he, everything thinks it's okay but in the morning time this is a spoiler so if you're going to read calling all creeps which i recommend but only if you're not too scared you should read this one he um then goes inside and the next day at school all the creeps 
uh, his na his name and number are replaced with hers. So Tasha found out that it was him. <clears throat> and then what happens is um, he doesn't think much of it anymore. He tries to forget about it. But at, at midnight that night, a cre one of these creeps calls him. And it was like so, he was like so confused. And he called him in the middle of the night. And then he just hung up the phone. And then they keep calling him back and calling him back. And then what happens is they want to turn everybody into creeps. Because they want to take over the school. And everyone to be like this guy. Because he was like the leader right here. And, and he instigated it all. And then what happens is um, Ricky is like, no way, I don't want to have anything to do with turning these people into creeps. Because everyone, everyone is nice and no one, only Tasha was to a creep. But then at the, en at the end, everyone becomes a jerk to him and only his best friend stays with him. But then what happens is he finally, and here's a spoiler, they, wa they want to put cr these pills in the cookies at school to turn everybody there to creeps. And then he finally gives in and makes sure everyone eats the cookies. And then it's, that's the twist ending, is that you don't really know what happens after that, but it's up to speculation that everyone becomes a creep. Okay. Now I'm going to do a random, read a random page for you. And I will stop there. Okay. We have so little time to plant them, David added fretfully. So little time to turn everyone in the school into creeps. Seeds? Plant seeds, I laughed. What else could I do? I laughed in their faces. Am I going crazy or are you? I asked. If we do not put the seeds in time, plan. Wart started. His voice trailed off before he finished his sentence. Brenda picked up where Wart left off. If we fail to plant the identity seeds, she said, keeping her eyes on me, our mission will fail. War placed a hand on my shoulder and gazed at me so solemnly. And of course, Commander, you know what will happen to you if this mission fails. He made a slicing motion across his throat. A heavy silence fell over the woods. A burst of wind shook snow over the evergreens. I suddenly felt... Oh, man cold all over. Brenda reached into her backpack and pulled out a clear plastic bag and raised it toward me. I have the identity seeds with me, come on, Nander, she announced. I studied these seeds inside the bag. They looked exactly like chocolate chips. As you know, Commander, every student must eat a seed, Wart said. It only takes one seed to turn a hu human into a creep. Oh. So there, there's the book. It's number 50 in the series. Go read it. And boo. And don't turn into a creep yourself this Halloween.